Good afternoon. A New Mexico Police Department has taken DNA testing to catch criminals to a new level. Hobbs police aren't just swabbing for DNA at major crime scenes. They're gathering samples at all property crimes, too, and it's already working. News 13's Emily Younger reports. A cotton swab like this held enough to put a suspect behind bars. Fingerprints are a fragile piece of evidence, and there's a lot of things that, that will make them not pliable for, for evidence. Smudges, somebody wearing gloves, things of those natures. Uh, but you can't change somebody's DNA. That's why last December, the Hobbs Police Department started testing for DNA at all property crimes. Investigators are now using white swabs to swipe evidence at every burglary and breaking and entering case. Most recently, Hobbs police were able to use that DNA technology to nab a thief who allegedly stole thousands of dollars worth of electronics and jewelry from this home back in 2012. It was no greater pleasure for me than to call the victim and to let her know that I was able to solve the case. Police say almost one year ago, 39-year-old Donnie Garza broke into this house and stole nearly $5,000 worth of belongings. But according to police, he made a big mistake. Investigators say sometime during the burglary, Garza drank two cans of soda and left them inside the home. The person who kept her house in very good order was able to go through and identify things that were out of place. Specifically, she identified two Dr. Pepper cans. Police tested the cans for DNA, sent the swabs to the state lab, and sure enough, Garza's DNA was a match. He denied being there. And this made me happy because a real bad lie is just as good as telling the truth. In Hobbs, Emily Younger, KRQE News 13. Hobbs police arrested Garza for aggravated burglary in late October. They say this is the first property crime case they've been able to solve using DNA. A lawsuit has been filed to try to stop the ban on oil drilling in Mora County. Earlier this year, Mora